the first point to make is that it's the gangs are based in Birmingham and always will be based in Birmingham. They expand north and south. They don't move geographically at all. So it's still the story of the Birmingham family who start to sort of um, find new opportunities. But obviously when they move south and when they move into territories where the London gangs are operating, they're up against some pretty formidable opposition. Um, at the beginning is quite hard because he's disillusioned with what happened with Grace and you know I, the story of the first series was he was a man who was closed down he opened up to someone and got betrayed if you like so this is uh, someone who is even more determined to just stick to business and yet circumstances change and he finds himself um, romantically uh, if that's the right word um, involved with two women yeah, I mean, it, it's, an, it's an area um, of, it, of English history that has been unexplored for so long. Uh, possibly because it's about the working class and working class history and um, the Americans are quite happy to, to do Chicago and, and all of that 1920s stuff, which was basically immigrants fighting against other groups of immigrants. But in Britain, we don't seem to concentrate on that. And any period drama seems to be about middle class, upper middle class people. But... I'm really passionate that these, this is where the stories are, this is where the drama is. Um, and any, anyone who does any sort of research into the racetrack gangs will see there was a whole world of stories to be exploited. Yeah, I mean, I'd worked with Tom on a film called Lock and we'd had a good time and it was great. And uh, I think I'd written four of the six by then and I showed him the three episodes in which this character appeared. And it was, it's based on a real person called Alfie Solomons who was the head of the um, Jewish gangs in North London at the time so he liked the, he liked the role, he liked the, uh, the, the idea of it and he agreed to do it and my ambition was just to get Tom Hardy and Killian together facing each other in a room and that's what happens and we have some incredible scenes <laughs> there's uh, Charlotte Riley who plays uh, May Carlton who is from two, three, four classes above Tommy but they they meet through horses and as a result of that there is a relationship so I'm really interested in how the basic question of the whole series and all of the series will be can you escape where you're from can you escape your roots and Tommy here is suddenly mixing with some people of a very high social standing I mean, obviously we can't wait for this new series. I'm curious, do you have in your mind a kind of a path for this story that goes beyond this series and, and how far do you, you hope to take it? Yeah, I mean, I want to I wanna end it with Sir Thomas Shelby. You know, I want to I look at the way that, and it's a, it's a story that is, t that is true of, throughout English history where people who begin living off their wits, who begin at the bottom, make it to the top and become you know socially acceptable figures so that's the story I want to tell of him and I want to take it up to the Second World War but I would love to to ask the question even when he gets into that position has he escaped is he different that's the question we just finished um, shooting a film with Bradley Cooper uh, in London about an American chef in London um, and we st I will start writing World War Z 2 um, in the next couple of weeks and then there's another film set in the Second World War with Brad Pitt which we start shooting the middle of next year. Yes, very quickly, just the Bradley Cooper uh, film, can you give us a quick synopsis about that? Tell us what you can expect from that because obviously Bradley, another great talent you work with. He's brilliant and I mean we, we, we wrapped uh, about a week and a half ago and the stuff that we got is fantastic and he's brilliant. So it's a contemporary story, it's very different to Peaky but again it's about a man who's driven by an ambition. Of course, I mean, you, you're writing the script to the sequel to World War Z. You say you've got a, another World War II film with Brad Pitt in it. I think the question fans have, are we going to see Jerry back for World War Z? Is, is it going to be a Brad Pitt film? Yes, definitely. See, the first film was such a huge success, but diverged in a lot of significant ways from the original source material. Um, for the sequel, what kind of, I mean, how does that tonally compare to the first film? I think um, it, it, the same as 100 Foot Journey, you know, you, you start with an idea and a source, but it's difficult because they are two different things. Um, so you have to make something work as a film. That's the first priority. I just think that the, um, it was so audacious and bold in that it didn't try to explain anything. 
it just showed you that the world had been attacked by this this virus, this thing. Um, and I think that it just kept going. It was relentless, and so people never had a chance to sort of sit back and stop. And